Hi guys. Having some really cookie weather this year, aren't we? Um, if you're watching this a while after I have recorded, um, it's October and we're coming up on Halloween. Now, I don't know what it's like where you live, but where I live here in Western PA, um, we went from 89 degrees to mid to low 50s, like overnight with the hurricane season. So when the hurricane started hitting the coast, it dropped our temperature really, really fast. Now, normally we don't have that high temps in um, September um, and, and going into October. We just, you know, we start going into fall and it starts cooling off and it's generally a very mild transition. And for some reason, we had some really hot weather, which we did not expect long after summer was supposed to pass. And it was hotter than we ever had during the summer. And then we jumped way down to, you know, low temperatures. Um, and then now here close to Halloween, we are in the 30s. And the trees haven't changed. They didn't go through the progression of changing the colors like we're supposed to do in fall. They just, the leaves actually froze while they were green and are shriveling. And so <laughs> we're used to our beautiful fall colors and we're just not getting that, not yet anyway. So I'm hoping mother nature kind of figures out what she's doing. But anyway, it's cold, guys. It's really cold. And you can see how I'm dressed. I'm really bundled up. Um, I try not to turn my heat up very high because I don't like to spend the money on the heating bill. And I have lots of scarves and hats and sweaters and, and little fingerless mitts. And I love to wear all that stuff. And since I don't go out very much, I wear it in my house and I just keep my temperatures low. So my husband appreciates that when he goes to pay the the heating bill. <laughs> but anyway, um, my point of the video is, is normally I drink a lot of water and we're told to get our water because our body needs hydration and it helps uh, curb our hunger when we're trying to lose weight. It makes us healthier. Our bodies are predominantly made up of water and we need a lot of hydration for our skin and, and, and our wrinkles and <laughs> and just for our organs to function correctly. So when it's cold, I don't like drinking water. Now, during the, the hot months of the year, I have a pitcher in the fridge and I'll pull out the water and I don't particularly like cold water, but um, where I live, it's, it's very moist climate. And so my, my filtration filters will grow mold inside of them if I don't keep them in the refrigerator. So um, I keep it in the fridge and then I'll get me a glass of water and then I wait for it to go to room temperature and then, then I drink it. Now when it's cold, I just set my filtration system on the counter. But it's so cool inside my house that that water is still very, very cold. And I just don't feel like drinking it. When I drink it, I get cold. So what do we do? <laughs> we don't want to have a lot of caffeine. <clears throat> so we don't want a lot of caffeinated teas and coffees and, and things like that, even if they are decaf. Um, decaf coffee can raise your cholesterol level, in case you didn't know. So we don't want a lot of that. So what do we do? Well, herbal teas is where I like to go with that, okay? So there are so many different herbal teas. And pardon my reaching here. I've got some things on the table here to show you. Um, underneath the camera setup. I'm trying a new camera setup, guys, just for the lighting. Um, and hopefully that's working a little bit better for you because it's been so gloomy lately that my kitchen is very dark. And so I'm trying the new camera placement just so that you can see me and the, the videos don't look gloomy. So there's lots of herbal teas that you can get that don't have caffeine. There's mint medley. There's just regular chamomile and um, chamomile with citrus, chamomile with lavender, that's real nice. And then here's peppermint, lemon ginger, 
And here's an organic jasmine green tea. Now green teas have lots of antioxidants and are really are considered medicine in certain parts of the world. So don't forget your green teas. Now I don't like my teas sweetened, but if you need a little sugar or honey or maple syrup or agave, whatever it is you use to get through the taste, then you, you do you, you know, I'm not judging, you do you. But I like mine just unsweetened. One of my all time favorites is lemon ginger. And then in bulk, I buy the hibiscus flowers. And um, that gives like a fruity flavor. And I will mix, I'll do hibiscus and maybe a um, uh, mint and then put a little lemon tea or lemon ginger in there too and just make like a fruity punch. I like, I like that a lot. There is one thing that I wanted to tell you. Um, I drink a lot of lemon ginger and lemon ginger is good not just for the flavor but for the healing properties. Um, it's very warming and I don't mean just temperature of the hot tea. Ginger itself is very warming to the body. So if you have aches or pains or sniffles or arthritis and you're affected by the cold, lemon ginger is where it's at, guys. Okay, so stock up on this. But remember that when I say it's warming, it actually raises your body temperature. So the average human is 98.6. If you drink this on a regular basis, you'll be around 99.8, okay? So if you're having any kind of surgery or doctor's visits, just keep that in mind. And I did have that occurrence happen to me. I went in a few years ago just for a minor surgery for my carpal tunnel. And the nurse um, checking me in checked my vitals the day of surgery and she said, oh, you're running a temp. We can't do this procedure if you're sick. And I said, oh, it's probably the, the lemon, lemon ginger tea. I drink lemon ginger tea on a regular basis and it raises your body temperature. She did not know that. So she really didn't believe me. One of the other nurses over on the nurse's station um, a few yards away overheard our conversation and she interrupted her and said, she's right, she's right. Ginger will raise your body temperature. And she said, what's her temp? And she said, it's 99.8. And she said, yeah, she's fine. She said, did you have a cup today? And I, yeah. Do you drink it every day? Yeah. Yeah, she's fine, she's fine. So just be aware of that. A lot of medical practitioners don't know that. So sometimes, and I do this often, it's up to us to educate our doctors and nurses. So just bear that in mind if you're having surgery or going to see the doctor that ginger will actually raise your body temperature, which probably isn't a bad thing this time of year. Have a good day, guys.